All right, so now we're ready to weigh our baby. So we have our scale and we're going to turn that scale on. We should see all of the numbers. All right, now I have it in kilos and zeros. Now, if I don't, if I have a really wiggly baby or the scale is cold, I'm going to put my mat or towel down first, making sure that the edges aren't hanging off. And you'll now see that you're weighing this towel. So we wanna hit the tear or zero button so that it goes back to all zeros. Then I'm going to lay my baby down from butt to head, gently rolling that baby down so that we can get an accurate weight. Right now this is 570 grams for my little baby. So I'm gonna take my baby off, I'm going to tear it, and I'm going to go one more time to make sure that I have 570 grams. Now, if there's any adjustments, if the table is wobbly, if the scale is wiggly, if the baby's super wiggly, you're gonna see a different number here. You wanna make sure you get that same number twice. So if I were to tear this out and mom is going shh, shh, you'll see those numbers go all over. If the baby's, if the table is wiggly, you'll see them look, it's registering at 620. So you wanna make sure you have a stable table, that the scale isn't wiggly, and that you don't have too wiggly of a baby. I tend to find if you put them down butt to head, gently roll them down, they won't startle as much. You can also swaddle the baby if you need to, to keep them still, but you'll then need to swaddle them again when you do your post-test weight. So whatever they were in on the scale before, make sure they're in that same thing on the scale if you weigh them after.